On today's Bears Rumors show, a surprising trade idea that I saw circulating around the internet. I want to dive into that. Plus, is Keenan Allen just a one-year rental, nothing more, nothing less? We'll dive into that as well. Now, help us out. Share this video on X, Twitter, whatever you guys want to call it. Click the share icon and post to X. I think most mobile devices have it as X now through the YouTube app. Uh, once you click X, it'll let you post it. If you want to go above and beyond, tag me in the post at HGram NFL. I'll give you guys a retweet, repost, whatever they're calling it now. Uh, let's share this video all over social media. Could the Bears trade Tremaine Edmonds? Welcome to Chicago Bears Now. I'm Harrison Graham. Bleacher Report dropped an article of one trade candidate for every team, and they mentioned Tremaine Edmonds, which was pretty surprising to me. Let's hear what Gary Davenport had to say here, and then I'll kind of give my thoughts here. One year ago, the Bears inked linebacker Tremaine Edmonds to a four-year, $72 million deal to lead the Bears' defense. The problem is Edmonds didn't play like an $18 million linebacker last year. He was badly outplayed by fellow newcomer TJ Edwards. Now let me first say, I actually agree with that to an extent that Edwards outplayed him by a pretty decent margin. Now badly outplayed might be strong. Early in the year I would agree. I thought uh, Edmonds picked it up later in the year. But this is not happening one year into a four-year contract. Like they've made a pretty heavy investment into Tremaine Edmonds. And Yes, last year, like when you dive into the advanced analytical statistics and stuff like that, it wasn't great, but Edmonds still did a decent amount of damage last season. He had over 100 tackles with 113. He had five tackles for a loss, four interceptions with a lot of those coming late in the year, including a pit six against the Cleveland Browns, seven breakups and a forced fumble. Like, he wasn't a disaster. Now, again, you kind of dive into the deeper X's and O's, snap by snap. Pro Football Focus wasn't a fan of how he played, 56.6 overall. Run defense coverage, pretty similar, 57-58. And look, how many times are we sitting here on watch parties like, Edmonds just missed a tackle again. He's not in the right spot in coverage. Like, he was not great by any means. He did not play up to his contract. There's simply no doubt about it. He did not live up to a four-year, $72 million deal. But you got to remember, it was a four-year deal. And it was kind of a two plus two. Um, they could get out of it. And I was a little surprised. As a post-June 1st trade, it would actually save Chicago $20 million against the cap this year. That's pretty notable. Right now, they got about $22 million. It's going to go down to twelve or so, though, once they sign Caleb and Rome to their rookie deals. So $12 million, decent amount still, but that would be $32 all of a sudden. The problem is, is like, what are they doing with that $32 million? Like, there's not a player in free agency that's probably better than Tremaine Edmonds. Like, is he overpaid? Probably. Definitely based on how he played last year. But it also kind of evens out because TJ Edwards is underpaid. Like, he outplayed his three-year $19 million contract, a.k.a. $6.5 million per year. So, you know, you kind of look at it from that standpoint. Both those guys are counting about $24, $25 million per year. You know, 12 and a half each, eh, I'll live with those numbers. Uh, here's also why he won't get traded. Uh, I thought he finished last season on a pretty high note. I thought his last four or five games were his best of the year. He's a big leader on this defense, too. Like, I can't remember what the award was called, but they gave him a team award uh, after the season. Uh, Flus loves the guy. Now, Eric Washington coming over from Buffalo, where Edmonds was the first five years of his career. He's the defensive coordinator here. There's, there's familiarity between those two. Sure, if he's average this year, he's probably gone after this season because you can get out of it after this year with not much future penalty at all. Like, yes, you save $20 million this year, but there's still some dead cap next year, whereas if you wait a year, it's a limited dead cap moving forward for the next two years. Um, so I think he's here. He's clearly going to be on this team. Beyond this year, if we get kind of the same year as last year, it's like, eh, take a pay cut or we're just going to cut you because you haven't lived up to the billing. What do you guys think? Would you consider trading Tremaine Edmonds? Should they trade him? Type T for trade or K for keep. I'm keeping him for now. We're one year into this thing. He finished on a high note. Yes, he's overpaid, but that's kind of what happens in free agency a lot of the time. All right, we got some Caleb Williams jerseys available at chatsports.com slash Caleb. Put that link in the comments and in the description of this video for you guys. That way you can click and shop today. If you forget about it, just search later, chatsports.com slash Caleb. Got the orange 
navy, white, all available in pre-order. Again, that is pre-order. Uh, these have been flying off the shelf uh, uh, as a rookie draft pick. So it takes a little time to ship out, but uh, you will get it. Chatsports.com slash Caleb. Go ahead and check those out. Again, the link is in the description and comments of this video. All right, I wanted to kind of dive back into this wide receiver discussion with Justin Jefferson getting a huge payday. And, you know, you got DJ Moore. We talked about that discussion of it uh, on earlier on Monday. Uh, and now Keenan Allen, I want to get to this part of it. Like, is he just a rental? Because I'm kind of starting to wonder if this is just a one-year deal, like finish out his current contract and then, you know, see you later. Uh, you look at the market right now, it's just, it's it's exploded, man. And now the difference between Keenan Allen and most of these guys outside of Mike Evans is, you know, he's on the back nine of his career and perhaps the back six uh, in golf terms, you know, final third of his career uh, at 32 years old. Keenan Allen's cap hit this year is already $22 million. Mike Evans just signed a two for 41, so that's $20.5 million per year. You know, if you could get him on a one- or two-year deal around that figure, I could see the Bears being open to it on a short-term deal. But Keenan Allen, remember this, guys, he was with the Chargers for 11 years, one franchise. A lot of guys at that point in their career, they don't want to move. They don't want to – he's got four kids re relocating the family. Restructuring that deal, taking a slight pay cut, was a non-starter for him. He was like, a pay cut? I should be getting paid more. So if he's willing to punt on the Chargers after a decade plus there – you think he's going to sign a team-friendly deal at this point in his career to stay with the Bears? Only way that happens is if after this year he he's kind of like your clear number three after DJ and Rome, and he just wants to stay here. That seems like a long shot. Like He's going to want to cash in one more time, even if it is on a short-term deal. And I can see the Bears being like, hey, thanks for the one year. We only gave up a fourth-round pick. We're going to play the comp pick formula game. He, we're going to let you hit free agency, maybe get a future third or fourth back in a, in a comp pick. So... I don't know. I just think it's interesting uh, when you uh, kind of think about it, where the market is and his age and all that at this point. Before I give more thoughts on this, how many years will Keenan Allen be a bear? Type one for just the one year, or type M for more? I'm starting to think just one. I, I think there are scenarios where he could be here beyond this year, but, you know, beyond a one or two year extension at most, I, I don't think he's going to be here for the foreseeable future. And what's working against Allen when it comes to getting a deal with the Bears, he's already 32. So let's say they play this year out. He turns 33 next April. So are the Bears going to give this guy a two or three year deal at $25 million per year? Because he produces at a guy worthy of 25 to $30 million. The problem is, is his age. So, I, you know, it'd probably be closer to 25. Unless it was a one-year deal, maybe a team would give him one-year $30 million. Um, that's not going to break your cap long-term, obviously. Um, but, but you've got that going. Can we go back, back to some of those uh, other reasons, things working against Keenan Allen? Because uh, Roma Dunze just got drafted. I don't think that helps. Keenan Allen's long-term viability here. Like, if Rome shows a lot of promise as, as a rookie, like, Allen kind of loses the leverage in wanting top dollar here. You're going to have to pay DJ Moore soon, who's got two years left. But if it's DJ Moore, who's 27, 28, or Keenan Allen at 32, I think DJ Moore's that guy, especially considering what you invested into him in that trade. And with the wide receiver market exploding, that could help Keenan on the free agent market but not necessarily with the Bears because they've got DJ and Roma Dunze. So my educated guess is, again, I could see a one-year extension or a one-year deal if you play this year out for 2025. You know, $25 million bucks on a one-year deal is not going to hurt the Bears long-term. But quite frankly, I think chances are, if you, if you ask me right now, like, Harrison, gun to your head, what do you think happens? He probably signs elsewhere in free agency. Like, it, that, that's just the way I see this probably playing out. Um, just knowing how polls operates and Keenan's age and if Rome is the guy who they think they is, it kind of makes Keenan Allen expendable, but that doesn't mean the trade wasn't worth it. If he's awesome this year and helps Caleb along and helps Rome along, that in itself is worth a fourth round pick. So uh, we'll see how it plays out. I'd like him to be here beyond this year, but uh, it would not shock me if this is just a one-year deal. All right, appreciate you guys for tuning in uh, to the latest episode of Chicago Bears Now. A couple of news and rumors items I wanted to get to there. My name is Harrison Graham. Bear down and don't forget to subscribe.